Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem, right? Someone has asked me uh, in the comments to solve this particular problem for him, right? So, I am going to solve this problem. So, this is uh, the problem is that a uh, 50 pound, pound force is applied to the control paddle as shown. The force lies in a plane parallel to the XZ plane. This is very important. This uh, 50 pound force is lying in, in the plane which is parallel to this XZ plane, right? So, this statement means that this 50 pound force is making a 0 degree angle with the xz plane. This is parallel to the xz plane, right? And further, it is said that it is perpendicular to BC, right? So, if I join this BC line, so then this 50 pound force is uh, perpendicular to that BC line, right? So, this I have drawn this uh, diagram, right? So, this is the front view of this whole assembly. If, if we look into this whole assembly from this direction, right, that is towards the uh, negative y axis is right this is our positive y so if we look in, in in this direction right so then we will be able to see this uh, x axis is and this z axis is right and the y axis is will be out of the screen right so then if i join this b with c if i join uh, point b with c then this 50 pound force is perpendicular right so this is 90 degrees so, now here in this diagram, it is said that this BC arm is making 15 degrees with the vertical, right? So, if I draw a vertical line here, if I draw a vertical line here, then this BC arm is making uh, 15 degrees. Let us say that this angle is 15 degrees, right? So, if I draw a line perpendicular to this vertical line and if I draw a line like this, so then as we can see that this line is perpendicular to this and this force is perpendicular to this. So, if this BC arm is making 15 degrees with the vertical, then this force is also making 15 degrees with this horizontal line, right? So, now uh, we can resolve this force into its components since it is making 15 degrees with the horizontal or we can say that it is making 15 degrees with the negative x axis since the positive x axis is in this direction. So, we can say that this force app will have two components, it will have one component like this. So, this is uh, we can say that this is 50 cos of 15 and similarly it will have one another component like this. So, it will be a sine component, right? So, this will be 50 sine of 15 degrees, right? So, now uh, in the problem, it is said that determine the moments of this force about point O and about the shaft O A, right? So, first we have to find the moment about this point O, right? About the origin of this coordinate system, right? So, to find the moment about point O, I will use the cross product method. So, the moment about point O will be equal to R cross F, right? And this is our force F. And we will define our moment arm from O to C, right? So, I can write that my moment arm is from O to C, right? So, to find the moment about point O, I need to find, I need to represent for, force in, in a Cartesian vector form and I need to find this ROC, the position vector from O to C, right? This is my R O C from O to C, right? This is our R O C that is the position vector. So, now first I will write this force F in a Cartesian vector form. So, force F we can write force F. So, force F has one component which is acting in the positive x direction and it is, that is 50 cos of 15. So, I will write that this is 50 cos of 15 in the positive i direction. And similarly, uh, this component is acting in the negative z direction, right? So, I will write and it has no component in the y direction since it is parallel to the xz plane, right? So, we can write this is plus 0j and minus 50 sin of 15k. So, now if we simplify this, so this is our uh, f vector, right? And now to find our OC, we need to find the coordinates of this point C from this origin, right? So, the coordinates of this origin is 0, 0, 0, right? So, we know it and to reach that point C, first we need to travel uh, 7 inches distance in the positive y direction, right? So, here I will write the coordinates of point C, right? So, then we need to travel 7 inches in the positive y direction. Then we need to travel how much distance in the negative z direction, right? So, so, if I draw a line, if I draw a line that is vertically parallel to the 
z axis right so we have to travel this much distance right so we can find that distance right as we can see that this 8 inches is making 15 degrees with the vertical so if i resolve this 18 inches distance into uh, into horizontal and vertical distance right so we can draw a triangle here let's say if i draw a vertical line here like this right so so this is we can draw a right angle triangle like this right so this distance this vertical distance is how much so this vertical distance is 8 cos of 15 right so 8 cos of 15 and this uh, line which is parallel to the x axis is right this is uh, 8 sine of 15 degrees right so to reach uh, this point c first we need to travel 6 plus 8 cos of 15 distance in the negative z direction right so the coordinates of point c so we need to travel how much distance in the negative z direction that is 6 inches plus 8 cos of 15 inches right this is we need to travel in the negative z direction so i have to put minus sign with it right so this is minus and similarly uh, we need to travel 7 inches in the positive y direction and similarly once we reach here so then we have to travel 8 sine of 15 degrees uh, parallel to the x axis is direction right and th this is in the negative x direction since the positive x direction is like this right so we have to travel i can i can show that this line will be parallel to the y axis let me make it parallel right so we have to travel this much distance right in the in in this direction that is in the negative x right so i can write here that the chord the x coordinate of point c will be 8 sine of 15 right so let me find these as well right so 8 uh, sine of 15 so this is uh, 2.07 this is 2.07 this is 7 inches and this is uh, 6 plus 8 cos of 15 so this is 13.73 so i will write that this is minus 13.73 inches right so these are the coordinates of this point c so now to find this roc vector what i will do so i will subtract the corresponding coordinates of point c from the origin right since all since we are finding this position vector from the origin right so the origin coordinates are always 0 0 0 so we can write that roc vector is 2.07 i right uh, plus and uh, this is negative right we have to travel in the negative so this is minus right remember this is minus so then we have to write that this is minus 2.07 i then plus 7 j and then minus 13.73 k right so this is our oc vector now to find the moment about point o we can write it like this so this will be i j and k right and roc so this is minus 2.07 this is 7 and this is minus 13.73 this is 48.3 this is the force vector 0 and minus 12.9 right so we have to find the determinant of this matrix right so the moment about point o will be equal to so we can write so i times this so 7 into minus 12.9 i right and then this is 0 right so then we will solve it by using the second column this like this so this with j we need to write minus and this is minus 2.07 into minus 12.9 minus this is 48.3 into this so 48.3 into minus 13.73 and this is with j and similarly so this is 0 minus this right so i will write 0 minus 7 into 48.3 k right so the moment about point o equals to so 7 into 7 into minus 
12.9 this is minus 90.3 i and this is minus first we have to simplify this right so this is a minus 2.07 into minus 12.9 minus 48.3 into minus 13.73 right so this is equal to 689 so 689 so this will be minus 689.86 right so minus 689 point we can write it as 0 0.9 right so this is 0 0.9 j and then we have to find this so this is a minus 7 into 48.3 so this is minus 338 right so i will write minus 338k right so this is the moment of this force f about point o now uh, we were asked to find the moment about shaft oa so the moment about the shaft oa is equal to we can write that moa is equal to mo dot the OA unit vector right so OA is parallel to the y axis so we can take the dot product with with j unit vector right so we can write it as minus 90.3 i minus 689.9 j minus 338 k and then we have to take the dot product with with j unit vector so i into j i dot j is 0 and k dot j is 0 so we will be only left with this right so this is minus 689.9 and j dot j is 1 right so this is uh, this will be in pound inches right so this is the moment about oa axis and this is the magnitude right since this is the scalar dot product right so this will always give us the magnitude about the moment about oa right so if we write so the mag the moment about the oa axis is about the shaft is 689.9 pound inches and negative sign means that it is clockwise right so now as we can see that this is producing uh, the clockwise moment like this right about that oa so if i curl my right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative y direction right so this negative sign means that the moment about point oa is clockwise and the thumb is pointing out in the negative y direction right so this is the solution of this particular problem